Oh god, seems to oh. seems to start up with this video almost. Got a bit of chitter. Anyway, we're gonna be following um the instructions how to get connected to um, to the disk box. So let's see. So anyway, I got the um, disk drive in one of the windows, see if any of the lights change. So what you're supposed to do is to switch it on. Well, actually, no. Ah, well, it's on, whatever. Now I'm supposed to put in address. Hmm. Connect the power, press the power button. Start. Please press the button on your device. So that's that one. Okay, it didn't happen anything. If you want to keep it pressed, please press the button on your device when you find that. Press the right button. Still not finding it. Okay. the power button. Ah, okay, so what to do now? Should we try and power it up again? doing Ah, oh, it took a long time to shut down. So now let's try it again, power it up. Ok, 
Okay, after lots of um, testing Pressing the button, the copy button on the NAS, I couldn't get it to respond to this, so this always times out, so it never worked. But then what I did is that I um, searched the network, and I saw that we actually have a NAS 542 online, and then I just went into the browser and I gave the um, URL for it, and then I got into here, so let's see what this is going to going to do so that find NAS find NAS at least used from the PC does not work I wouldn't be too surprised if it actually worked um, from um, from a smartphone yeah I had to um, take a couple of cookies just to calm down Oh, and some coffee. <laughs> yeah, step one, two, and three, and then it works out, yeah, right? Black. Okay, let's see if we can. Okay, now it wants a new password. So I will just pause here to. Okay, let me end up here after changing the password. So let's try and see if the new password will work. Oh man, what the heck? I just changed it. God, this is so buggy stuff. Oh my God. Okay, so I've inserted the hard drives now. Okay, let's see now. Let's 
и вот посуду. Okay, here we go. Oh, it does have right six. <laughs> but that's just awful. Does it say how much time? Oh my god! I lose half the stuff. Now, RAID 6 is good because it will enable you to lose, or would allow you to lose, two physical disks broken, and the system would still keep running. But then you lose half the, half the data storage. Ah, thank god this tough to run RAID 5. And um, RAID 5 is basically, it uses, um, you can lose one disk. Any one of the disks can break. And then um, you still have um, you um, still have access to the data. Ah, let's uh, use that. Then. Uh, yep. Okay. Five point five. Okay. Uh, all right. Strange with that initial bugginess. Oh, we, if you hear some rain noise, that is actually rain outside. We're having another. Wow, that's a lot of rain coming down. Gee. I was just going to go take the dog for a walk. Yeah. More cookie. Where's my coffee? Darn. More coffee. Oh, we'll see. Anyway, this, um, what was it called? I tried, um, find me zuxel.com trick in the, which is in the instruction. That's the step by step instruction. I tried it both in, um, in, um, uh, Edge and in Chrome. And it didn't make any difference what browser I was running. It just refused, and the this button on the, the the actual find me button that you're supposed to press didn't really work that logically because that's a, a something like a copy button or something. And I think it was the device was always thinking I was pressing it to get to to do a copy. That's my interpretation, and I even tried um, tried to reset the NAS. Paperclip. You know, in the reset hole, so just re reset the whole thing from scratch. Didn't make any difference, it performed exactly the same way. Same way as before. So I don't know what the, what's the, what is the bug that is preventing that. As I said, they have an alternative method that you can um, uh, connect or configure it using your mobile. Sometimes the sad story is that the mobile method is more supported nowadays than the actual PC method. But as I said, it did appear on the um, as a device. Probably won't now because it's rebooting. Yeah, now you can still see it, but you can actually see it. It came, if if I had probably if 
from the very beginning it's all, always existed on the network. So if I had been smart enough I would have actually checked for it on the network. And then I just use the direct address like you see up here. Use the direct address to um, get access to the control panel. But, you know, a bit of wasted time. I'll probably have to do some video editing to sh shorten down the first debugging session. I don't know if anybody's going to be interested in watching. But anyway, now I'm creating a RAID 5 um, subsystem with four disks. And um, formatting seems to be working okay. I'm going to pause the recording. I'll be back when it's done. Okay, that took quite a while to, to complete, but now we're back. And um, if you look at the storage manager, everything's healthy, and we have a grand total of 5.4 terabytes, which is as expected if things are configured as um, RAID 5. And there's some more. You can just look at. Of that volume structure this this anyway here we see all the hard drives are report it's nice it gives the hard drive temperatures also anyway just ignore that so I'm just gonna create a simple user which one I'll try control panel yes admin PC guest we add one more Pause while I create the password. Okay. Oh, Groups. <coughs> Give all access. I think we should have a home folder. So. Well, that's strange, it doesn't create a default. Okay, I'm going to create a share called Rolf, I think. So where do we do that? Control Panager. There, shared folders. Mm -hmm. It's funny this don't get a default home folder. So let's see publishing yeah, I want to do more to publish the show. I think I'll leave that. I don't really understand the setting. Ah, I think I'll just leave it. Okay, 
see if we can actually <coughs> access this. Yes, good. So this actually works. Yeah, seems to be put some text in it. Run and save it. Oh, that seems to be working fine. So anyway, there's lots of other functionality here, but I have to. What you what um, you can do if you're watching this video and you feel like you'd like to have a better, more in-depth introduction to some of these functions, leave a comment about it, but otherwise I'm just going to um, call it a day. So now we've got it, um, disks installed, it's um, been found, and we've um, configured RAID 5, we've set up the, um, the user, and the um, and we set up a, um, a share and that seems to work so that's pretty much everything that I need to um, get done for now yeah anyway cool except for that hiccup of it not finding it with the default method described in the you only need to do step one two and uh, wait a uh, bit uh, didn't work. So, whatever. Ignore the instructions. <laughs> Just check if it's on the net. Yeah, if you like this video, then um, consider subscribing. Um, hit the bell if you want to be notified of further videos. There will be more videos to come <coughs> covering different things. Anyway, well, thanks for watching if you hanged in this far. This was cool. See you in the next one.